Okay, in this part we are going to install Jenkins. Jenkins is written in Java, so you can run it on Mac, Linux, and Windows. Um, I will be installing it inside a Docker container based on um, Debian 10. There are some instructions on how you can create a separate network, create volumes and all that stuff, but I am just going to use a very simple version of it. I am basically going to create a folder on my host. It already exists from prior tests, so I'm going to recreate it. Um, then I am going to start Docker, um, give it a name called Jenkins, and then I'll expose two ports. So port 8080 will be used by Jenkins inside the container and port 12345, I will be using that one um, with the node application. So I'll be creating a server on that port and then I can uh, basically run a call to it. Um, the minus V is mapping the volume. So the folder we just created on our host will be mapped to var Jenkins home. This is um, where the container is set up to store all the Jenkins related files. So basically to have persistent storage and as a operating system, I will be specifying the main Jenkins image and the long-term support branch. So let's just copy paste that over and run that. And then it cannot find a local image because it's pretty much a clean new setup. And then it's starting to pull the files it's needing to um, start up Docker. Okay, so basically the pulling has now finished and it's now starting it up and it will display the main Jenkins log file. And now it will display an admin hash. So we are going to copy that. And if we take a look at the interfaces that we have on the system, you will notice a Docker zero interface, which has this IP. Basically, this is um, how we can reach the um, Docker container. And since we mapped two ports, we can now access Docker. So on port 8080, we have Docker running and it now asks us to enter the administrator password. That is what we just copy pasted from here. So we enter that one log in and now it asks us um, whether to select our own plugins. We are just going to um, start by installing the suggested ones, which contain stuff we need, like the pipeline plugin or GitHub branch pub um, plugins. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, if anybody cares, like I said, I am running this on a Debian 10 and I am using Docker version Okay, the Jenkins installation has finished and we can now specify a username. I'll just be picking admin for everything. Of course, you should pick a better password. And we are done. So basically now we have Jenkins up and running and in the next one, we are going to create our first project.